Welcome to this beginner's guide on mowing the lawn. First up we set the height of the machine so that it cuts the grass but never never go too too short. Going too short is invariably just going to put strain on the mower and kill the grass. Electric mowers also have height adjustable settings on them. Play around with these. Locking the handles in place is a simple matter of locking the clamps up. These should be preset. So once the tension is set, it's a simple matter of locking and unlocking. Electric mowers, you generally need to push two of the um, control switches to get it started. Always check your mower first before you make sure the blades are all fastened and in place and that there's no build-up of grass and debris in there that can jam the motor when you're trying to start it. Attaching the grass box before starting it. In this case I've got a mulching box in there so I remove that and place the grass box in place. generally locks in and help, holds itself once in the correct position. Refueling the mower. Don't do what I'm doing and do it on the, the lawn because when you spill you just kill the grass with the petrol. Make sure you're using the right grade of petrol. Uh, this is a four-stroke engine that doesn't have any oil mixed into the into the fuel mix. Some two strokes you do you do need to, to mix it in. Check the oil on the dipstick and starting, set your throttle to full throttle. Press the red button three or four times, that just primes the carburetor with fuel. Always lift the mower back off the ground to get the blades out of the grass and give it a good pull. It should start after the first or second attempt. Throttle back slightly from full throttle so that you're not over revving the engine and unnecessarily using fuel. I always like to begin by trimming once around the edge of the, the lawn just to give you some working space. You'll notice that we have a cross fall on this lawn and what I'm going to do is cut in line with that cross fall so that we're running parallel with the with the slope. Emptying the grass box is as simple as unclipping the grass box, emptying it and putting it back in. Always advisable to have the mower off. So kill the mower, the motor before you before you do this and then restart. Cut running across the slope. What I do at either end is just give myself a little bit of turning space and I'll show you momentarily the, um, the simplest way of, of turning. But there you can see we've, we've a nice straight line now and just run across, across the slope. You should find this far less tiring. You'll notice once the grass box is full it tends to leave droppings and that's a good indicator of when to when to empty the box again. Here I am on this end just giving myself a little bit more space for turning at the end of each lap. Wearing closed shoes and sunnies is always a good idea when you're mowing the lawn and working outside. So in the turn when the unmown grass is on your right spin round the, such that the, the back right wheel stays stationary pretty much. Watch the back right wheel, it doesn't move very much. So you almost pivot around the back right wheel. When the uncut grass is on your left, you push forwards and you spin around the back left wheel. Here it is from another angle. So you pull the mower backwards, turning around the right 
wheel, pivoting around the right wheel. This is an indicator of what happens when you're going too quickly and the grass is too long. Listen to the engine and you'll hear the difference. You may have to rewind this. And you can hear the motor fogging down. But just the speed at which you move through the grass is really important. Picking up those droppings once the box has been emptied is just a simple matter of mowing, mowing over them again. A few more examples of the turn. It's a push, push forwards and spin around the left wheel when the uncut lawn is on your left and when it's on your right, pull backwards and spin around the back right wheel. If you do have to push up uphill, keep the mower handle close to your stomach and push with your legs. You really don't want to be pushing like this, leaning, leaning into the mower. That's a sure sign that you, you're overtired and should probably be having a break. Notice how the, the wheel on the freshly mown lawn overlaps slightly. That way you always get a nice clean finish. And there we have it. Easy as that. Enjoy.